Hi everybody and welcome back to Zelda World's video walkthrough of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In this video I will be guiding you through the fourth segment of five in chapter two of our walkthrough. After you obtain the sword and shield from Orden Village, you can go ahead and walk, run up to this giant black wall, which is essentially the wall of Twilight, to commence another cutscene. So then Mar Marin, uh, Midna will talk to you, and she warns you again you will not be able to come back for a little while, but we're going to go ahead and go through anyway, and she will come through. As she mentioned before, you can't willingly walk in, so she uh, reaches her giant uh, hand through to grab you, and w here we are again, back in Farron Woods. The whole place has, of course, changed, and it's in twilight now. I really love the particle the particle effect that they did uh, with the twilight in this game. It, I mean, it, it gives it a certain atmosphere. This is kind of funny. Minda wears the shield in her face instead of holding it. Nearly cuts her head off in the process. And Link will, of course, snarl, and then get smacked in the head. She really does not like Link's attitude. <laughs> So Minda promises to help us, uh, but we have to gather some things for her. We'll actually be finding about those in a second. As, he, as she can say, as she says, we um, she can't tell us all the details right now, but we will find out. <laughs> she hums her a bit of her theme. I actually never noticed that. Da, 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 da. A bit of a Midna's theme. She hums right there. Anyway, after the cutscene, you want to just head on forward. She did mention that the you could hear the lamentation or the lamenting of the spring up ahead. But as you try to walk through, these uh, little walls will block you. Run into the middle to make a portal appear out of the of, out of the sky. Down will fall a few of these shadow beasts, but this time we have to fight three of them. Anyway, Minda actually um, says that she's gonna let us handle this by herself. So you can go ahead and try, but actually, it's not possible to do this. As you can see, you can attack one and kill it. I actually just got hit there. These guys can take quite a bit of life away from you, as you can see. One full heart, so you want to run over to the bushes and you can get hearts out of those. So you can kill two of them, but you'll actually notice that the third one will scream and wake them back up. So apparently that's not working for us. We're going to have to find out a different strategy. You, you, actually, you actually have to kill all three at once. And that's a little hard considering our spin attack right now has uh, no range. So even though you have nothing to do, you want to just attack him again and kill two, like last time. And then Minda will actually talk to you before, she, before you can do that. And she tells you about a move. This time if you hold down B instead of a normal spin attack, a, a wave of uh, dark energy will show up. If you get them all sort of targeted and then release B, you can kill them, uh, and uh, the third one won't have time to scream. This is uh, pretty essential throughout the game. When, uh, whenever you're a wolf fighting the uh, these set shadow creatures, that's an essential move to kill them. Alright, so after that, you can go ahead and walk up to the, st to the uh, spring, and y another text uh, will show up. And apparently this is the uh, light spirit of Fair and Spring, and not very impressive considering uh, Ordona was a giant goat. But uh, as the last cutscene showed us, when we were talking to Ordona, um, Farron was uh, turned into, uh, well at least I think his name is Farron, it was turned into, it was t taken away from its uh, normal form, and it became this. So, Farron will talk to us and give us the Vessel of Light. In this we have to collect the Tears of Light, and basically what, what those are is what Midna is looking for. And uh, they will help return the light to the area. You just have to search for them and kill them. Um, this time around it's pretty easy to do, but later on in the game it will get uh, harder to kill these guys. 
Um, and well, not to kill them, but just to find them. They're going to be in more stretched out areas. Luckily, Farron Woods is uh, pretty close together. Uh, it's, it's not a very big area, so... There we go. It will appear below our button commands up there. And the first two are right here, actually. You just attack them. Be careful not to attack them when they are, um, when they're all electrical and, like, when they're zapping, I guess that's one way to describe it. And once you kill them, uh, tears of light will pop out. Also in Farnwoods, uh, they, they go by twos, uh, as you can see. In other areas, they will go by, uh, they'll just be lone bugs, because they're so big. Luckily, Farron Woods is so, uh, small, though, that they group them together in groups of two and three, all of the golden bugs. So you, you don't need to go searching around too far. Alright, come on the side of the house and ram into the side. I kind of failed a couple times there. But if you ram into the side, that one will fall off. And then attack him. It takes me a couple tries here. It actually is hard to do that. Alright, so after you collect this tier of light, you can go ahead around to the other side of the house. Actually, well, you can dig into holes here first. I don't know if I've shown this, but, you know. Well, yeah, I have shown it, but anyway. You can go around up here on the hill here, and if you can actually go up there, uh, then it will prompt you and you can jump right inside the house. Alright, once you're inside, you'll see Koro sort of shaking up here in the corner. What, what you want to do is um, go ahead and talk to him automatically. Some bugs will pop out after that happens. Just go ahead and kill them. That was pretty easy right there, actually. Usually it takes me a couple more tries, as you can see earlier. And he gets all freaked out, of course. He's like, I have no idea what's going on around here. Alright, after you grab both of those tears of light, you can just go ahead and go right back outside the house. We can't do anything else in here. There are no more, uh... Bu uh, bugs of the darkness, or whatever you want to call them here, so you can go ahead and dig under, and continue into the next area of Farron Woods. There are bugs here. Like I said earlier, they are in groups of two all the time, pretty much, so they're pretty easy to get. You can get them fairly quickly. Now, there are actually um, no bugs inside this cave here, so you can uh, go ahead and just run straight through it. There's Unless you missed the chest earlier when you were a human coming through here, there's nothing else new in here. You can just go ahead and run straight through. And once you've run outside the cave, another cutscene will commence, showing the now uh, changed uh, Farron Woods. This big part here has a strange gassy substance all over the ground. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to have to find a way around that, so join me next time where we continue through Farron Woods. Bye for now.